Hi, I'm Julian Grimm and one kiss, it's all it takes. So today, I'm gonna talk about using Interloop Audio plugins inside Ableton Live. Interloop Audio is a company that makes a bunch of cool shit and also they make interfaces. A lot of their interfaces have a really cool feature which is built-in processors inside them. These things can process Interloop's plugins and some third-party plugins now for you without taking any cost on your CPU. I'm an Ableton Live user so I had to find a way to use my interfaces plugins which is a Orion Synergy Core and I'm gonna show you guys today how that works. So here we are in Ableton Live. We have just a boring guitar loop right here, recorded line in through the interface, nothing applied to it. It's just a boring guitar loop with no amp simulations on it at all. This is how it sounds. Cool, as you can see, it's just a plain guitar track with nothing applied on it. So I could just use the, any plugin inside Ableton to apply like an amp sim to it and make it sound better. The good thing about the plugins that come with this interface is that they use no processing from my computer because all the geeky stuff inside that interface. So what I'm gonna do is use those plugins and save a little bit of CPU power. And of course, the most obvious thing to use here is an amp sim and a cab sim. And also it's really easy for you guys to hear the difference. So it's just a win-win for everyone everyone. That was a creepy wink and I'm aware of it. So here we are in the Orion Studio Synergy Core. This is the routing page. It's quite scary when you first look at it, but it's actually really easy to use and you can do anything in here guys, really anything. So the things we're interested in today is these things. Comp play, AFX in, AFX out, and comp rec. Comp play is just the outputs coming out of Ableton Live. AFX is the audio effects. So AFX out and AFX in is the place where you apply the plugins. And then comp rack is the inputs inside Ableton. So what do we have to do? All we have to do is choose an output from Ableton, route it into an AFX in, an audio FX in, and then the audio FX out comes to comp rack three, and that's it. And you can just make sure everything's right by clicking and seeing where everything's going. So three is going to AFX in and three is coming out of AFX and going back to Ableton. Talking about back to Ableton Live, let's go back to Ableton Live. Woohoo! I am too excited for this. Is it drugs? No, unfortunately, no, it's not drugs. In Ableton Live, we use what we usually would use for external effects, like if you have external hardware compressors, external preamps, external EQs, but you can use it for the Antelope Audio stuff, which is quite nice because it kind of feels like you have outboard gear. Kinda, but it sounds really good, so uh, let's let's do it. What we need to find is the external audio effect plugin right here and just drag it into the track. So this is the external audio effect plugin and it's just a really easy way to route things in and out of Ableton. And that's why I like it, because I like everything to be easy in life. Unfortunately, it's not. So in the interface panel, we were routing channel three, right? So here we can send the audio to channel three and the audio is gonna come back to channel three because we only use three to make things easy, right? Anyways, if we play the guitar now, we're gonna be able to see if the signal is going in and out correctly. Yeah, it's all right. So how do we put the effects on that? So back to the control panel of the interface, we have this tab right here called effects. If we go here, we have channel three, which is the one that we are sending stuff to, right? So. We click on channel three and you can see that comp play is rooted in there. And all you have to do is add a new effect. We have guitar amps, so we're gonna go with modern US because America. And now let's see how that sounds. It sounds like shit, but that's because we also need to add a cabinet simulation. And let's go for vintage because I like old things and I cannot lie. Now that sounds like a guitar going to an amp. Isn't that cool? Yes, it is. And it's using no power from your CPU. You can see it right here in Ableton. Things are really low right there. But what if I wanna have that sound recorded into my DAW? What do I have to do? Well, there's two ways. Let's drag this to the arrangement view just so we can make things more visual for you guys. 
So the first way to do this is to freezing and flatten the track, just like you would with any other plugin, but you have to do it in real time, because it is technically an external effect. And I don't really like to do it with the freezing and flattening method, because I have to let it do its thing and I don't have much control of where it's playing and recording. Let me show you what I mean. So the audio is right here, and if I press freeze, It's gonna play all of this empty section here to get to this section. And eventually it's gonna get to that section and record that section and it's gonna be fine, it's gonna sound fine, but you're gonna have to wait for it to get all the way here. And as you can see that it's in one minute and 45 seconds, so I don't wanna wait for that. So the best way to do this is to create another track. Let's call it Guitar Dist. And instead of external win, we just choose the audio coming from our guitar. And usually I like to record it post effects because we have to record with the audio coming after this plugin here. And then all we have to do is arm this track to record and record. And that's it guys, it's pretty easy. Now you can erase the original guitar track if you want and you have your distorted guitar in there forever as you wanted it to be. So that's it guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please press all the things that help me in the world. And I hope to see you next time. And I hope you will see me too. Bye.